I'm Danny Epperson inside the historic Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO Cinema 15 and this week's presentation of 1997's As Good As It Gets. I love this movie because, in my opinion, when it comes to romantic comedies, this really is as good as it gets. When writer Mark Andrus gave his script for As Good As It Gets to James L. Brooks, the screenwriter was simply hoping Brooks would direct the picture. But Brooks liked it so much, he signed on as producer, director, and co-writer. Brooks was the creative genius behind some of the biggest television shows of the last 40 years, including The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Taxi, and The Simpsons. He also wrote, produced, and directed Terms of Endearment and Broadcast News. How can you talk to me about parking problems? <laughs> no, not your try. You'll do it. I had no idea she was this good. After reading Andres' script, Brooks said, quote, I'd never seen anything like it. It defies any conventional way of telling what the story is. As Good As It Gets stars Jack Nicholson as Melvin Udall an abrasive, obsessive, compulsive romance novelist who takes pride in his ability to insult and alienate everyone around him. I'm drowning here, and you're describing the water. Helen Hunt co-stars as Carol Connolly, a waitress and single mother with a chronically ill son. And Greg Kinnear plays Udall's neighbor, Simon Bishop, an artist and owner of Verdell the Dog. Brooks also said, quote, I honestly couldn't think of anyone else who could have played the lead other than Jack Nicholson. Nicholson and Brooks worked together on Terms of Endearment and Broadcast News. Jack earned his second Best Actor Oscar for his portrayal of a grumpy ex-astronaut in Terms of Endearment. Trust me, Matt, this is one thing. You need a lot of drinks. As Good As It Gets arrived in theaters on December 23rd, 1997, and it didn't make a very big splash at the box office its opening weekend, which is completely understandable once you realize that it was up against Titanic. Iceberg, right ahead! But the film found its legs and turned out to be a blockbuster. It's also Jack Nicholson's second highest grossing film after Batman. You can call me Joker. As Good As It Gets was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won two. Best Actress went to Helen Hunt and Jack Nicholson welcomed his third Best Actor Oscar. I don't know, I've had a sinking feeling all night right up till here. <laughs> I'll be back after the movie to tell you more about how they got that little dog to walk like Jack. But for now, grab your plastic cutlery and cozy up for As Good As It Gets. Nothing says true love like warm rolls. <laughs> According to James Brooks, the final scene didn't originally call for a kiss. But in the moment, out in the street, the director yelled for Jack to kiss her. Brooks said that one of the perks of being both writer and director is that you can change your mind whenever you feel like it. Remember the scene in Simon's hospital room? According to Brooks, that was supposed to be a very serious and dramatic sequence. Oh. That spontaneous approach led to some great moments. But for Nicholson and Brooks, getting Melvin right proved to be a challenge. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Nicholson said that he can usually figure out a character in the first week of a shoot, but that didn't happen with this film. What if this is as good as it gets? It took a lot of work to find a balance that would make Melvin less mean and more lovable. According to Brooks, Nicholson had to, quote, play this monster, but not completely turn the audience off. Someone who could, in the end, be loved. You make me want to be a better man. Melvin does redeem himself, but not before verbally abusing everyone in his path. Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. The studio was so concerned about some of Melvin's slurs that they brought in Chastity Bono. Chastity Bono came in, who's head of the Gay and Liberation Task Force, and she looked at the picture and looked at the trailer, and she said, and she said, no, it's so clear that, that Melvin is an equal opportunity at One last thing, Verdell the dog was played by six 
Brussels Griffin pups to get the dog to mimic Melvin's obsessive compulsive tick of avoiding cracks in the sidewalk. Filmmakers place tiny obstacles for Verdell to step over and remove them digitally in post-production. I'm glad that was only an act. That's all for this week. I'm Danny Epperson, and I will see you next time for WHRO's Cinema 15 and another classic movie. I'm Danny Epperson. Here's a classic movie quiz. 1997's As Good As It Gets stars Helen Hunt and Jack Nicholson. I'm drowning here, and you're described in the water. What rare Oscar feat did the movie achieve? Do you have any control over how creepy you allow yourself to get? Nicholson and Hunt both won Best Actor and Best Actress. You provide the popcorn, the couch, and the TV. We'll provide great movies like As Good As It Gets. Watch Cinema 15, Saturday night at 8 on WHRO TV 15.